Welcome back, everybody. I'm so happy to be connecting with you once again and sharing a very important foundational wisdom that will help you immensely in all of the healing and self-healing methodologies that we work with. This particular form of healing has actually been taught through this form of Tao self-healing for over 20 years. It started out as the four power technique, but now it's called the six power technique as two more powers were added within the last four or five years. So what are the six power technique? Well, there is body power. There is sound power mind power. There is soul power. There is breath or breathing power. And there is writing power. So these are the six powers. So now let's dive in and we'll break these down one by one and discover the importance of the six power technique. Now, originally Master Shah received these four powers as part of his practices in working with his teacher, Master Guo. And he learned about sound power, soul power, mind power, and body power first. Body power is something all of us are familiar with. Where you place your hands is where the healing goes. This is the one sentence secret for body power. And when we place our hands in certain parts of our body to help facilitate additional uh, frequency and vibration coming to that area, not only is it important where we place our hands, but it's equally important how we place our hands. You may have seen yoga or certain postures where they hold their fingers in a certain posture or position. So this is also relevant for body power. And there are many different body power positions, depending on uh, what practice you are learning for self-healing. Where you place your hands is where the healing goes. The second of the six power technique is sound power. Sound power, uh, most of us know that sound has healing properties and it could also have hurtful properties. And all you have to do is listen to uh, some sounds or some musics that you don't like that you can clearly define that they could be hurtful to your health and wellness. And certainly other sounds and musics, when you listen to them, they feel so soothing and healing. So sound power is actually very, very important. And in this wisdom, how we use sound power is we use, refer to it as mantra and we chant sometimes. So if you are doing self-healing practices with us, you will hear the master teachers potentially adding soul music or soul song or a mantra chanting of some kind. So it might be chanting, for example, divine light. We could simply repeat divine light, divine light, divine light. Or we might chant a, a, a mantra that's specifically known to boost power to the lower abdomen, like Jo, Jo, Jo. So this is sound power. So if you hear us doing that or watch us do that, now you know what it is. We are in essence bringing greater frequency and vibration to that area of the body or where we are placed our hands to, to accomplish a greater um, combined success. The third of the six power technique is mind power, creative visualization. And the one sentence secret and the one sentence secret is what you focus on is what you manifest or what you become okay so we will normally guide you focus on golden light in your area of request or some form of specific visual guidance so these first three were, were not invented by us obviously they've been around for millennia but one of the things that master shah understood is that when you combine all of these various powers, you can manipulate the frequency vibration to have a far greater superior effect. Because in essence, what we're doing is we're increasing the positive frequency and vibration step by step by focusing on the sound and where the hands go and the creative visualization. So those have been known for a long time. The, the next power, the fourth power, is arguably the most important of these six powers because with this power you start to understand the greater whole of what we're accomplishing 
You may remember earlier from the teachings the statement that everything comes from source. Everything carries spirit, soul, and that everyone and everything carries spirit and soul. So that means every speck of energy, every speck of matter, everything comes from the source. Therefore, everything has a soul, so to speak. Okay. So the next power is called soul power. And when Master Shah started these self-healing techniques 20 some odd years ago back in San Francisco, before the Tao calligraphy and before the other amazing Tao healing methodologies that are now available, he simply worked with these four powers. And he was helping people to reverse cancer. He was assisting people with these self-healing methodologies, reversing major, major health issues. Why then is soul power so important? Because it acknowledges one of the one sentence secrets. And if you haven't watched that video already, you're going to see it very soon. So one of the one sentence secrets, aside from everyone and everything has a soul, is that the purpose of every soul is to serve. So raise your hand if you've ever had sore back or sore knees or migraines. When we have these pains, we un unintentionally say things like, I have a bad back, I have a bad knee. You've probably, if not you, you've heard somebody say that, right? Well, this is a negative message. If you think about it, your knee wants to serve you. It's been supporting you your whole life. Your back has been serving you, allowing you to bend over, get into bed, get out of bed, work. Your back is an unconditional servant. And yet, how do you think it, as a soul, feels when we say, I have a bad back? Would you say that to your children? I have a bad child? <laughs> Probably not, right? So we want to expand our heart, expand our understanding that if you accept that everything has a spark of divine in it and everything has a soul and the purpose of every soul is to serve, then you'll understand why this four power technique, now six power technique, has such great power and emphasis. So what do we do when we apply the this soul power? <clears throat> you will hear in almost every healing we do, in almost every self-healing practice we do, you will hear a common theme. And we will say something like this. Dear the soul of, and we'll invite in the outer souls, uh, Buddha, Jesus, God, Krishna, uh, angels, healing angels, Mother Earth, um, the sun, the moon, our creator, of course, we invite the source. These are called outer souls. We always invite them because their purpose is what? To serve. That's right. And so we invite them because they want to serve and we're grateful to receive their much higher positive frequency and vibration. We also communicate with the inner souls. And this is the wisdom of soul power, the fourth of the six power technique. We say, dear the soul of my back, if it's a sore back, I love you. We give it love, <laughs> especially for a whole life. We've been not saying positive things, right? I love you. I deeply honor and appreciate you. You have been supporting me, allowing me to go to work, to carry my children, carry the groceries, allowing me to do ABC. I'm so grateful for your service. We send love and gratitude, right? And you have the power to heal and rejuvenate yourself. Do a good job. So this is a loving statement to a part of our body that maybe we haven't been getting all that love to. This is an example of soul power. And I can tell you, when he was doing this, Master Shah was, was teaching this foundational teaching 20, 25 years ago. People were applying and seeing quick transformation by adding it to the other three power techniques, okay? And so that is the fourth of the six powers. Very important foundational teaching. It will be in every teaching we provide. The fifth of the six powers is called breathing power. And the one sentence secret for breathing power is allow your breath to be natural. Follow nature's way. Isn't that interesting? There's so many techniques out there about breath and breathing power and hold and breathe out and hold and breathe out and <clears throat> count to six and count to four. And, <laughs> and it's not that they don't have value. Master Shah has said nothing about the other ones, actually. He has just shared that the Tao wisdom would say, follow nature's way. Tao fa zuran. And nature's way is the natural breath. Now, in some of his most recent teachings, we are receiving nourishment from the Tao Du, 
De is the action of Tao, and it's the nutrients from the source. The source provides nutrients from heaven, liquids and vitamins and nutrients from the source. Our soul needs those kinds of nutrients different than our physical body. So with those special Tao source calligraphies that are related to uh, delivering the nourishment, he will have us hold our breath about two seconds in a very specific form of meditative practice, but not long, long time, anything like that. Okay. So that's the fifth power. The sixth power, certainly as important as soul power, is writing power, which is related to the Tao calligraphy. And you've already seen the video on this. This is very, very important. The writing power, because how do we receive the frequency, vibration, and healing nour nourishment within the Tao source calligraphy? We connect with it, and we can either trace it with our hands or with our eyes. We can trace it with our lower dawn or what's called referred to as our lower dawn tian or abdomen, a technique maybe you will learn about in one of our uh, sessions for how to boost your self-healing power. <clears throat> and we might, uh, you might also be able to join special classes where you can learn how to write the Tao calligraphy. So since it is written and in the writing of it, that is the holder, the conduit or the portal through which source frequency and vibration comes. And it remains in there until we interact with it by writing over it via tracing or actually writing Tao calligraphy, which helps us to clear our negative information in our field or simply meditating with that writing. This is the sixth of the six power technique. When we incorporate all of these powers, the uh, degree of the efficacy of the transformation that occurs is significantly enhanced. I can assure you these are called six power techniques for a reason. So I hope this helps you to understand it, that when you come to to our events, our Tao calligraphy healing field practice sessions where we're tracing or maybe we're meditating or doing the liquid and light massage. We'll guide you what to focus on. We'll guide you to connect with the soul power. Now this will make a lot of sense. All right. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.